Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus. I bring you a very special breakdown. I'm bringing you the Who's Next series for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates each and every time we have breakdowns here at Sports Choice Plus. Without further ado, we're going to get right into the action. Looking at the Pittsburgh Steelers, starting out very hot last season, they were the hottest team and the last team undefeated. Going into the very, I believe, 11-0 uh, and 0 they got to, they reached to. And a lot of people said that they were frauds. A lot of people didn't believe in them. And then when it came down to facing a couple of tough teams late in the season, this team did falter and flap and fall in. When you're looking at Big Ben, he did suffer injuries. You're looking at the team. Juju Smith-Schuster didn't show up in a lot of places. Um, there was a little controversy with his TikTok dancing and his before the game stepping on logos. It was just a distraction after distraction. This defense is what really held this team together early because the defense was very opportunistic. You're looking at Watt. You're looking at Micah Fitzpatrick. You're looking at a lot of the guys that they had on the team that were healthy. They couldn't withstand the injury bug early on. So a lot of the times, you know, what we saw early may have been just a factor of the defense being a lot better. But when they played the worst half of the schedule, that's when the issues started to pop out. They didn't make the playoffs, so that was a good thing. But you have to understand, while making the playoffs, a lot of these guys didn't really show up in that game against the Cleveland Browns. They were thoroughly beaten in that game. And you're looking at Mike Tomlin saying, hmm, situation after situation have happened um, with this organization. Moving forward, looking into next season and this offseason, will they, big back, will they bring back Ben Roethlisberger? Will they bring him back at a salary that is conducive to the team or will they completely move on? I believe the salary balloons up to $41 million if he completes the full season with incentives and everything included. And you're looking and saying, hmm, what's next? Are they going to really bring back Big Ben at that number? Could they really move on from him this quickly? They don't have a replacement in my eyes. I don't see that replacement on the roster. And I don't see that them moving up in the draft to get a quarterback. We have a history of Pittsburgh really sticking with one quarterback throughout you know, their tenure until it's completely over. But you look just just at how Big Ben has been throwing the football lately. He hasn't been able to push the ball down the field. He hasn't been able to command the offense in a way that you're going to be scared to throw the ball down the field if you're a defense. So you got to ask yourself, you know, are you going to do another year of this? You have that offensive line that's pretty decent. The defense, when it's healthy, is pretty decent. One of the best in the league, if you will. And you have superstar potential on that defense. So do you want to waste that potential? You know, do they gamble and go in free agency and try to get a quarterback? You know, do they trade Big Ben? You know, what is the what is the ultimate end-all, be-all? Only the Steelers know that answer. But I think the Steelers need to get younger at quarterback this year. I don't think another year of Big Ben is going to be the solution. I think that, if anything else, he'll keep you stabilized throughout the year. But he'll win a couple of games. But you got to ask yourself, at what point are we paying that price tag for a quarterback that old that can't really perform late down the stretch because of injuries? So, Resigning Juju Smith-Schuster should be their goal, but I don't think they're going to be able to reach a cap number. I think somebody's going to offer Juju a boatload of money, and we know traditionally the Steelers do not pay wide receivers like that. If Heinz Ward didn't really get paid like that, and he was possibly one of the best in the organization ever, I don't think they're going to pay Juju, who is marginally like that. You know, A.B. did get paid during his time, but A.B. was an exceptional receiver, and he didn't really get the break-the-bank payday. He got a payday for the Steelers type of payday. So all of you Steelers fans, get in the comment section below. Definitely tell me what you think, because I think it's time to move on from Big Ben. And shortly, it may be time to get rid of Tomlin as well. So leave your comments in the comment section. Definitely check out Sports Choice Plus for all the breakdowns and all the updates. And as always, make sure you head over to the Facebook channel so you can debate with me each and every week. And as always, until next time, good people, we'll see you soon on the next video.